If you are looking for the best attack strategy for Town Hall 12, then you are in the right place, because in this video, I am going to show you the top 5 easy and most powerful attack strategies for Town Hall 12 players. So hey guys, welcome back to the Stealth YouTube channel and part 2 of covering the top 5 TH12 attack strategies. I will provide you with all the army compositions and base layout copy links in the description that I will be using in this video, and let's set the target of 2000 likes. So, without wasting your precious time, let's start this countdown. At number 5, we have the Super Bowlers attack strategy. This strategy is incredibly powerful, and almost every TH12 player tries to use this army at least once in their life. So let's start this attack. We will start the attack with the Warden Walk, by deploy our Grand Warden and Healers. Then we will go to another side and drop our Flame Flinger. With the help of these two units, we will carve the side of the base. Warden Walk works a lot like a Queen Walk, but with a longer shooting range. This makes it safer because the Warden can attack from far away. Just be careful where you start it, pick a good spot where there aren't many defenses, or you'll waste his abilities. We will also use our Yeti and Baby Dragon to speed up the process. When using the Grand Warden and Flame Flinger to create a funnel, give them a maximum of 1 minute. But don't take too long, or you might run out of time and fail the attack. These two units will carve the sides of the base, resulting in a narrow path for our kill squad. Now let's wait and let these guys do their work. I have dropped my Barbarian King to clear the side trash buildings because our Flame Flinger can't reach them. I took a lot of time to make a funnel here because I want my Warden to destroy the Eagle Artillery. Now let's drop all our troops. Our Super Wall Breakers will help us make an opening in the core. Make sure to send your Queen along with your Super Bullers, as she's responsible for taking out enemy air CC troops. As you can see, our Grand Warden also joins our kill squad here, and our healers start protecting all our troops. We will use our Rage and Heal spells on our troops when they start entering the base. Additionally, the Jump spell plays a crucial role in this strategy. It lets our bowlers jump over compartments freely, otherwise, they'd waste too much time breaking through walls. The combination of Heal and Rage spells will keep our troops alive and enraged, allowing them to take on any defenses with ease. The reason for placing this strategy at number 5 is that this strategy is best for compact base layouts, and it will be risky to use against spread bases. I have made a detailed video about this strategy, and I highly recommend you watch it, as I am unable to provide all points with just one attack. This base is now crushed, so let's move to our next attack. At number 4, we have the Super Witch's Bats attack strategy. This one is one of my favorite super troop attacks. So let's start the attack. In the Super Witch's attack, we will drop our baby dragons and witches in the corners to destroy some side buildings. This will help guide our super witches and their big boys into the core of the base. Once our baby dragons and witches destroy a few buildings, we will drop all our super witches with a gap between them, backing each up with one healer. Then, we will drop our log launcher in the middle, followed by all our heroes. I am using the Grand Warden's fireball equipment in this strategy, and it works really well. You don't have to worry much about using the Grand Warden's ability in this strategy. You can use it according to the situation, preferably when our heroes are facing enemy CC troops or are under heavy fire. We will use our Rage spell and the Barbarian King's Earthquake Boots ability in the core. By doing this, our king will open multiple walls in the core, and with the rage spell, our troops will destroy everything easily. Our main motive here is to create a good path for our bats by destroying the core with the kill squad, so that our bats can take down the corner defenses easily. And guys, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I have uploaded so many powerful TH12 strategies on my channel that will surely help you. 
so we have deployed our all bat spells and freeze the inferno or wizard towers before our bats reach them. This way our bats will stay safe and clear all defenses. Now all we have to do is use our freeze spells on time to clear the space. This base is now steamrolled with this strategy so easily and have a look at the timer we still have lots of time left. But this is just a start our next attacks are even more powerful and we will try to use only regular troops in our next attacks. So let's speed up the things. At number 3, we have the Go Witch Zap attack strategy, let me show you how to use it. We will start this attack by destroying the multi inferno towers with the help of our zap spells. It takes 4 zaps and an earthquake to destroy one inferno tower. Only destroy the corner infernos with your zaps, as our troops will take down the middle one. After destroying the infernos, we will deploy our golems with a gap between them, backed up by witches, the log launcher, and our heroes. Drive your log launcher like this, so that its log will take down the multi inferno tower and open multiple walls for our troops. The golems are our tanky giants, leading the charge and soaking up damage, and the witches summon skeletons that distract enemy defenses. You can also use bowlers as CC troops, but I recommend using yetis because they can survive for a bit longer and also provide good tanking with a decent damage rate. Our troops will split into groups, some of them will spread to corners and start clearing the sides, while most of them will go into the base with our heroes. Use your rage spell on your CC yetis so that they will quickly clear the core of the base. Also, you don't have to worry about the enemy CC troops, most of the time, they end up attacking our skeletons. You can also use the wall wrecker instead of the log launcher in this strategy. Now all you have to do is wait, and our troops will destroy this base on their own. This strategy is really powerful and so easy to use, and I recommend it for beginners or new Town Hall 12 players. You can watch the recommended video above if you want to know more variants of this army. This base is now crushed, and our top 2 attacks will be ground and air attacks, so keep watching. Don't forget to like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. At number 2, we have the hybrid attack strategy. This strategy is best for wars or clan war league attacks, so let's start the action. We will start our hybrid attack with a queen charge. Before that, we will use baby dragons to clear side buildings so that our queen is guided directly into this compartment of the base. Sometimes, she does what she wants and ignores the funnel, but don't worry, we will use our super wall breaker to redirect her into this compartment. Let's also drop our flame flinger on the other side to clear that corner compartment. Don't panic if your queen starts going to another side, just stay relaxed and do your best. I am using the queen's frozen arrow equipment in this strategy, as it is really helpful in queen charge attacks. We will deploy our king to clear the other trash buildings and use our rage spell on our healers to keep our queen safe. Your goal for the queen charge is to take down the enemy CC troops and create a good funnel for our kill squad. With the frozen arrow and rage spells our queen will take down any heroes or CC troops, but make sure to use your freeze spells on single target inferno towers if needed. Now let's wait for this guys to do their work and take down the enemy CC troops, and we will drop our kill squad at the right time. So our troops have made a sufficient funnel, let's deploy our kill squad. Deploy your kill squad behind the flame flinger so that our CC troops will also join them. We will use our freeze spells on top of the multi inferno towers and use our heal spells near heavily defended areas to protect our troops, such as wizard towers, tesla farms, bomb towers, or multi infernos. If we talk about the warden's equipment, you can use the rage gem with this strategy along with eternal tomb. Use the Warden's ability when the Town Hall is about to explode to keep all our troops safe. This strategy is really overpowered and deserves the top spot on the countdown. However, the reason why I place this strategy at number 2 is that some players can't use this army properly and face defeat. The reasons for defeat can be time fails, not creating a good funnel, deploying your troops too early, failing in queen charge, or other issues. 
I have made a detailed video about how to use the hybrid attack strategy, and I highly recommend you watch it before using this army in wars or multiplayer battles. This base is now crushed, and our next strategy is the most powerful one, so please stay connected and don't forget to like and subscribe. At number 1, we have the most powerful attack strategy that can be used in wars, clan war league, and even in trophy pushing, and that is the blizzard dragons attack strategy. So let's start this attack. We will begin by deploying the lava hound, followed by the battle blimp. However, before starting the attack, we will check for the best location to drop our siege. It's easy. Drop your blimp on top of the most heavily defended area that is near the town hall. I have filled my clan castle with three super wizards and a few wall breakers, and with the help of invisibility, clone, and rage spells, they will clear the core. The clone spell will help us summon more troops, and rage will boost them. Drop the spells in the correct order for maximum advantage. First, an invisibility spell to let the wizards come out, then clone, rage, and invisibility spells every 4 seconds to keep them alive. Our super wizards did a really good job here and destroyed all the key defenses of the enemy base. This strategy is awesome. Let's deploy our heroes on the side. With the help of the queen's giant arrow and the king's giant gauntlet, we will destroy more air defenses and trash buildings. Now let's deploy all our dragons, loons, and the grand warden. They will all follow the path, and we will use our warden's ability and rage spell to quickly clear the space. The reason why I placed this strategy at number 1 is that you don't have to worry about the enemy clan castle troops, most of the time, they are killed by our super wizards, and if they miss, they will be burned down by our dragons on their own. This is a really simple strategy and easy to learn, and if you want to learn more about it, you can click on the above video. I am going to stay quiet for now so that you can enjoy this attack, and please don't forget to subscribe and drop your thoughts in the comments. Also, please share this video with your clanmates to improve their attacks too.